Greetings to everybody. Let us all sing the hymn which is displayed in the screen. Today, let us meditate on the scripture which is taken from book of Matthew chapter 26 verse 14. Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing but the flesh is weak. I repeat, watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing but the flesh is is weak. This very verse indicates the significance of prayer. It is very important for us to lead a very great prayer life. In the Bible there are a lot of scriptures which uh, talks about how prayer is important. I'd like to list out a few scriptures related to prayers. Philippines chapter 4 verse 6 says we don't have to be anxious but we need to pray at all times. Colossians chapter 4 verse 2 says we need to continue steadfastly in prayer. Psalms 145 verse 18 says the Lord is near to all those who call him. Most of us would be fasting and meditating on various scriptures especially about the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. I'd like to talk about what happened in the Garden of Gethsemane. When Jesus called all his disciples and went to the Garden of Gethsemane, he started to pray. It is mentioned in the scripture that his soul was overwhelmed with sorrow he was filled with agony 
but even in that moment jesus chose to pray jesus right from the beginning knew about his death and how it is going to be yet he did not complain about it he did not crib about it though he knew how difficult it was he always prayed even in such a situation in the garden of getsemane when he knows that his death is nearing he chose to pray it is also mentioned in the scripture that he fell down with his face to the ground and prayed many a times in our life we face a lot of temptations tribulations that is why in this very verse that i chose the second line says the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak flesh here indicates our sorrows our temptations our tribulations which every man face in day to day life we might be struggling with a sickness we might be struggling to get out of a bad relationship we might be struggling to get out of a addiction or we might be praying for something for so long but it couldn't happen or we might be so tired that we kept praying for so long and god hasn't answered the prayers it could be about your loved one probably your loved one is very sick and is not recovering and you're so tired and still we feel that we have no strength but god from this uh, incident what happened in the garden of getsemane we get to know that even when we have little strength even with that little strength that is left he prayed he prayed three times before the soldiers could come and get him so no matter whatever trials or tribulations that we are facing today let us all pray let's pray hard prayer will make a man victorious no matter how much ever sorrows we are facing we will be able to overcome that only when we are strong in prayer take god with you wherever you go always have a separate time for prayer prayer is important it is communication to god i think even when we say as we are traveling when we say god be with me that is a prayer when we are scared of the bumpy roads ahead and we say jesus please be with me that is also a prayer pray no matter however hard it is pray with every strength that is left god will do miracles in life don't ever give up your time is coming very soon with all the strength that is left in you let us pray during this lent season most of us would have taken up fasting but i personally request that this season we might um, pray let's focus on prayer let's increase the time that we spend with god let's increase the time of we spending to read the bible this lent season let's just make it a point to spend more time with god and to be strong in prayer because a man who prays is never ever faltered no matter whatever comes up against you god is always there with you now let's all bow our heads down in prayer Lord Father Jesus thank you so much for giving us this wonderful and blessed day father jesus thank you so much for your protection for your guidance father jesus lord help us to stay strong in prayer help us to overcome all kinds of temptation and tribulations father jesus we pray for our principal purser all the teaching non teaching staffs we pray for all our students lord protect us all and keep us all safe father jesus continue to show your mercy upon us lord we ask this prayer in jesus name amen